In this video, we're going to go over how to shorten a Dana 44 front axle. In the first video, you saw how to uh, remove the inner knuckles and rotate them for a cut and turn. Now you're going to learn how to narrow them. Uh, this axle is a high pinion Dana 44, and we're narrowing it down to a uh, grand wagoneer width. So if you look closely at my numbers here, the factory forward shaft is 34.75 inches long and the factory wagoneer shaft is 32.12 inches long so if you subtract one from the other we get a cut length of 2.63 inches so to make the grand wagoneer shaft fit right in here we need to cut 2.63 inches off the end I've laid out a straight line on there and then we will measure 2.63 inches out and center punch our mark and then we'll start doing the cutting. This is definitely a measure twice cut once procedure so I'm actually using uh, some dial calipers here to get a precise measurement of 2.63 inches and we're going to mark it right there at that tip and then we're going to center punch it and use that as our lineup point. So I've center punched the hole here. You can see my mark. And I have a piece of cardboard tube that actually fits right over the, the axle tube. And I use that to draw a perfectly straight line all the way around. You can also use a hose clamp uh, or another piece of metal tube. Just line it up and draw it around. And once you got your line, you start cutting. I do my cutting with a porta band. You can also use a regular band saw, um, a metal chop saw. Uh, you can cut it with a angle grinder and some cutoff wheels. Uh, but that's a lot of hand work, and you gotta get it pretty straight. So you want to take your time. Uh, you can cut it with a sawzall or a hacksaw if you've got all day. So we'll start cutting next.
So we cut it all the way off. As you can see, we got it pretty straight. Our cutoff piece is matches. It's pretty straight. And then we just got to clean up the edge. Uh, we'll use a flat disc on that. And we'll scrape out any of the gunk that got in the inside. And we'll uh, put our inner yoke back on and we'll be there. So we polished up the end. Knocked off any high spots from the cut. We've done the same to the inner knuckle. And we're ready to put them together as we saw in the other video. So that is how you do a cut and cut uh, when you're going to do a cut and turn. Narrow that Dana 44 down, and the same procedure is done on the other side, and you're set. Thanks for watching.